Coyote Peterson. This morning we're in the Sonoran Desert exploring the backside of Cat Mountain. Sun's just cresting over the horizon, which is the perfect time to find reptiles. Let's break trail and see what we can find. The Southwest Hills is an epic backdrop for any adventure, and there is no location more picture perfect than the Sonoran Desert. Today the crew and I are headed out to capture some of this beauty, but trust us when we say looks can be deceiving. From the rock strewn ankle twisting terrain to the spike cover plant life, ready? <sighs> Everything you come across stands to slow down even the most ambitious adventurers. It's only like 7.30 in the morning, I'm already pouring sweat. It's really important to make sure you stay hydrated in the desert at all times. Oh, hey guys, there's a snake over here. What? Jesus. Matt, no, back here. Where, 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 where? Alright, watch your footing, alright, chance. Come up slow. Oh yeah. That is a western diamondback rattlesnake. Okay, let me come to this side. Oh, careful, careful. Yeah, okay. Be careful, he's big. Priority number one, guys is safety. I want to get that snake out of there. I want to be as careful as I can. He definitely senses that we're here now. He's got his tongue flicking out. He's basically sensing a couple warm body masses and he says, okay, this is not prey. These are potential predators. What's really difficult about this situation is all this loose terrain. And the last thing I want to happen, Chance, is for you to slip backwards when I've got that snake coming out of the hole. Okay, so I'm gonna gently work him out here. That is a big western diamondback. He's probably about four and a half, five feet long. All right, we gotta get him in control of his energy. Wow, and he is strong. What I'm gonna do is gently pin his head down. That will allow me to get control of the snake. Now, this isn't gonna injure the snake in any way, but allow me to keep myself, you guys, and the snake safer throughout this scene. Tell you what, nothing makes you more nervous than capturing a western diamondback rattlesnake on the side of a rock face like that. And there you have it. This is the largest venomous snake that lives in Arizona. And he is absolutely beautiful. Now I want to make sure that I have a firm yet gentle hold on his head. And you can see these big puffy spots on the back of his head there. Those are the venom glands. And I definitely do not want to get tagged by this snake. This is the second most venomous species that lives here in the Sonoran Desert, second only to the coral snake. Although these guys are fairly more aggressive, especially when provoked. And look at those eyes. Now, this is a pit viper, and what that means is they have heat sensing pits right in front of the nostrils, and that's how they sense predators or prey. Now, the way you can tell the difference between an eastern diamondback and a western diamondback rattlesnake is that a western diamondback has black and white banding, and the eastern has a black and tan banding and that black and white banding has earned this snake the nickname Coontail. Now, rattlesnakes are typically ambush predators. They'll lay in wait for a, a desert kangaroo rat, maybe a lizard to come scurrying across its path, strike out and inject venom with those fangs. And then what they'll do is follow that prey, and as it begins to slow down from the venom, then they've got their meal once they find it. This is a very large western diamondback, and I'm curious to see how long those fangs are, and I'm sure so are you. And this is totally fine. I'm just gonna hold this stick out here, gonna open up his mouth, and there you go. Now you got those fangs out in the open. You come across this guy in the Sonoran Desert. You step back and give it respect. Does he have double fangs? Look how he does. Now rattlesnakes are constantly replacing their fangs. You can actually see he has two sets of fangs. So one of these sets is getting ready to drop out and then the new set will be in place so he can go out there and hunt for his dinner. Pretty cool to see a rattlesnake with a double set of fangs. I'm gonna let those fangs back in now, the rattlesnake's fangs are just a modified set of teeth that are hollow so that they can inject venom, like these little hypodermic needles filled with a mitotoxic, cytotoxic, and hematoxic venom that's going to put you in some serious pain. I'll tell you what, come out here, you search and you search and you search for one of these snakes. I'm trying to do my own job, and sure enough, it's Mark, director of Breaking Trail, that comes across the Western Diamondback. Good find, buddy. Good find. I would give you a high five right now, but I think you need both your hands. Yeah, definitely need both my hands right now. And I never recommend you go out and try to capture or handle a rattlesnake like you saw me do here today. 
is one of the most dangerous reptiles you can come across in the Sonoran Desert, and one of the most venomous rattlesnakes in the United States. Now, I always like to make sure whenever I encounter an animal, I put it back as close to the spot where I found it as possible. So I'm gonna let this guy back up into the shade here. All right, buddy, there you go. What a cool encounter with the largest venomous snake in the Sonoran Desert, the Western Diamondback. And so cool that it had a double set of fangs. I think I'm gonna call him Tommy Two Fang, but why don't you guys tell me what you think we should have named him? I'm gonna get the heck out of the Sonoran Desert and get into the shade. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out these other animal encounters. And don't forget, subscribe to follow me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. This episode of Breaking Trail was brought to you by the Buy Power Card from Capital One. Every purchase brings you closer to a new Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, or Cadillac vehicle.